What's going on, NASCAR fans? NASCAR Diecast fans, I am back with another Diecast review. And it is a, and it and it is on the A3 of Ryan Truex for BK Racing. Ryan Truex Borla Exhaust 2014 Camry. Beautiful diecast, beautiful paint scheme. Uh, sadly, this is on the PTC mold. Would have been a good car if it wasn't for the PTC mold. So that really, that really throws everything off. But without further ado, we're gonna get this diecast open and see what's in store. And this car has been in the box since 2014. Let me just put that out there. This car has not been opened from what I know of, from what I'm aware of. I got this diecast through a truck. Gosh, this is gonna be a rant review right here. Crap, not what I wanted to see out of a beautiful diecast. Gonna zoom in here. For whatever reason, oh gosh, the camera sucks. There we go. For whatever reason, that looks like green or something. Okay. I think we got it all right. Uh, yeah, the front end wrap got peeled off. What sucks? But it is what it is, I guess. Camry. Moog, Mail, Comp, Sunoco. Uh, the spot where paint peeled off. Another spot where paint peeled off. Borla Exhaust, www.borla.com. Which looks a little, looks like it's been cut on the bottom. Words have definitely been cut. Our Truex uh, Toyota logos there, 83, beautiful black outline with a red shadowing. I actually like that. That looks really good. Moving on this side, NASCAR race car, Sprint Cup Series, Moog, uh, Mobile One, 3M, Holly F5, Jags, Lincoln Welders, all those good little sponsors. NASCAR Snoka, Rookie of the Year. Dang, there's the 83. Definitely looks like a sticker has been added right on on it. Definitely looks like a sticker. Same with over here. Looks like a sticker. Toyota logo. Eh. Dr. Pepper is on the card. Um, yeah, that up there is Dr. Pepper and Toyota logo. I can't see where I've... What, Everything else is. You got the beautiful exhaust. Shooting flames out off the side of it. it. Looks very nice. Looks very fast. But I know this car was a really big back runner. Borla. Big lettering there. You got the Toyota logo on the window. I'm gonna try and show the interior. The interior is black. You got detail. PTC molds weren't the best back then, but they're way better than what they are now. And here's the bottom of the die cast. You got screws on the bottom. PTC. BBQ grill. I don't know what that is. Well, that's a sponsor. I know that. I, I don't. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Borla Exhaust. You got the pins for the trunk. You also got the hood pins as well. American Ethanol. Oh, no. 
And the wraps have been peeled off the back as well. And you got the Ricky stripes there. And I can't stand this camera. Camera sucks. Sound like a race car at www.borla.com. Got the yellow Ricky stripes on the bottom. Number 83. Wraps have been peeled off there. Rubs were peeled off there. That's what sucks with these PTC molds. They stick the car in the box when it's still wet. Then take the car out of the box. It just peels. Very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I hate that so freaking much with these die casts. But it, this is such a good paint scheme, good design. Again, the exhaust. It just looks so good. It's a beautiful paint scheme. But I do think that 83 is a little too high up, in my opinion. Definitely not centered. Sunoco Auto... Motors or something like that. Jags. And the base of the car. car yeah. The base of the car is black. The main car is black. So that's really good. Everything about this car just so, shouts clean. Except for that there. That there. Uh, that there. And that there uh, uh, everything else just looks really good it looks like a really good die cast but i'm not gonna praise this too much because it's on the stupid ptc molds ptc molds suck they still suck and they will always suck <laughs> uh the car does roll pretty well I really don't have any complaints besides the paint peeling off and the lettering. It's just a little too wide in my opinion. And I don't know how I feel about that. The back will shake quite a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I hope you guys this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Ryan Trex Borla exhaust die cast review. Like, subscribe. Keep postcations on so first get notified when a new video comes out. And you won't miss out on the next die cast up upload. You won't miss out on another diecast video or miss out on another future video coming out. So keep both stations on and you won't miss out on the next diecast review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be back with more diecast reviews. See you in the next one.